Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another review today. We're going to be taking a look at Rusty's Lightning McQueen from Cars 3. So something right off the bat I just want to say is that I've always wondered why Rusty's Lightning McQueen wasn't released before Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. I mean, you gotta admit, Rusty Lightning McQueen is the one who appeared at the beginning of the movie before he crashed. So you would think that he'd be released before the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen paint job, which was for the Florida 500. That's when he got into his Cars, like right, be like a little bit before the Florida 500. That's when he got into this paint job. So I've always found it so weird that he was released way before Rusty Lane McQueen was. So that's just something right off the bat I want to say, which is very odd, and I've been waiting to review him for a while now, so I'm glad we're here to take a look at him. So I actually did get him with the collector card as well. I didn't get all of the singles that I still have to review with the collector card, but a couple of them I was fortunate enough to. So in the back we also have cards like Terry Cargas, Maddie McGear, H.J. Hollis, River Scott, Chris Rivstopsky and Phil Tankson. And of course, there's this description we all know and love on the back. So now let's go ahead and open them up. So Rusty's Lightning McQueen was actually another one of the cars I ordered off eBay along with several others that I still have yet to review. So, of course, I've been waiting to review these for quite a while, and I'm trying to get as many unboxing reviews out as I possibly can. So, let's go ahead and get into the review of Rusty's Lightning McQueen. I feel like we should take a look at his collector card first. So, it has the Rusty's with the same with the same looking logo it has on his hood, which looks really cool. I think it looks awesome. And then, of course, it has the little plastic stand thing that you can put the card into. And then, of course, it has the Cars 3 sign on the back. Looks really cool. I like it a lot. So that's definitely a great one that goes, of course, very well with Rusty's Lightning McQueen himself. So he has a nice smiling expression. And, of course, this is still when he's, you know, pretty much at the top of his game. And he's beating a lot of the other racers in the Piston Cup. And the Rusty's blog actually does look quite a bit different than it does here. It goes back to, like, the classic medicated... Rusty's bumper ointment rear end formula with like the circle around. It's not like that for Rusty's Lightning McQueen. It, they changed it up a little bit for like the beginning part of the movie before lightning crashed. They have it so it's like all of it is lightning bolts, you know, none of it is just the classic circle like it is also back in 2006 as Lightning McQueen is also racing in the Piston Cup back then. So, of course, it looks really cool. It has the Rusty's right there. It has the 95. And, of course, the classic Bolt with the contingency sponsors like Clutch Shade, Revolting, RPM, Octane Gain, and, of course, the Best in Cup logo. It's got red and yellow rims. Very, very nice. And then on the back, it also says Rusty's in between, in between the two in between the two stickers. And also has a very small 95 in the very bottom left corner of his light and then same thing on this other side he looks very cool he's got the 95 as well on the roof i definitely love how he looks but tell me your guys' thoughts in the comment section below who do you like better rusty's light mcqueen or cars 3 light mcqueen and also here is a little comparison of course the exact same models so a lot of things have changed on them though the rusty's is definitely in a way bigger font than it is on the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen is definitely a little more similar to the one back in 2006. You can see the sides, it's just a big Rusty's font instead of the one around the circle around it. And then it also doesn't say the medicated bumper ointment as well with the 95 on the very back beneath the Rusty's. Because that's what, that's what it's like on the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. So quite a few similarities and quite a few differences as well. But again, tell me your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Who do you like better? I would probably say I like Rusty's Lightning McQueen better just because he's just very unlike most of the other Lightning McQueens. But I definitely like both of these a lot and they look great together. So that will do it for the review. I hope you guys all enjoyed many more single reviews to come as well as many more older cars that I have yet to get before in the past that are coming out. You know, ones from 2010, 2013, you know, just 
Just I'm trying to get a lot of cards that I missed between like, you know, the 2006, 2014, 2015 era. So that's what so that's what I'm trying to focus on as well while I'm waiting for the 2018 mainline diecasts and Raider Springs Classics to hit my stores. So again, hope you guys are having a great day and as always we'll see you next time for another review.